through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 208. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give our DVD rundown for the mm -hmm. week of November 27th. Yep. End of November. Already crazy. Hopefully you survived uh, Black Friday. Yep. Hopefully so. your Christmas shopping is done. If not, here's a few more suggestions. There's a few decent suggestions. Yeah. There's kind of uh, some interesting stuff, some good stuff, and yeah. some less some than okay good stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Let's start with the uh, one of the more noteworthy releases mm -hmm. of the week, and that is Lawless. Yes. Comes out on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy. This is the inspired by true story yes, of right. the Bondurant brothers down in, I think it was... Uh, West Virginia or something, wasn't it? Franklin County, Virginia. Wow, nice. Look yeah. at that memory. Never thought I'd remember that. You got Virginia, right? Hey, Virginia's the close. Part. Virginia's close enough. <laughs> the south, east. <laughs> I meant the west part of Virginia, not West Virginia the state. Okay. Clearly. Sure, of course, yes. <laughs> anyway, this is a star, you know, Tom Hardy, mm -hmm. Shia, Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Uh, it's got, let's see... Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce, Jason Clark, Jessica Chastain, who's in every film now. Yes. This is directed... a pro -E movie, right? Yes. Prohibition. Sorry. Prohibition story. Watch a lot of Boardwalk Empire, pardon my yes. slang. Yes, pro -E. uh, <laughs> It's by one of your uh, favorite directors, John Hilko. Yep. Yep. So it's got mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. Just a very solid story, really interesting film. And it's uh, co written by one of the descendants of the Oh, Bondurant yes, that's brothers. right. So yes. It's got a real authenticity to it. But, mm -hmm. you know, it really it paints an interesting, sort of different story of uh, prohibition mm -hmm. back in the I day. I think we and talked about it a little bit for Tom Hardy. Right? Yeah, yeah, I believe you're right. Yeah. I believe that's what we did for yeah. the release of Lawless. Yeah, I think it is. So <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a solid film. In terms of the release, it's got a commentary by John Hillco hmm. and author Matt Bondurant. Nice. It's got uh, the true story of the wettest county in the world featurette, which sounds pretty cool. And it's got uh, Franklin County, Virginia, then and now. So nice. that sounds pretty sweet to me. So if you want the digital copy, you got a note that is only on the Blu-ray mm -hmm. release. So get mm -hmm. the Blu-ray. And they got the DVD there as well. Yeah. So why not just go for it anyway? It's probably but. like the same price if, if you get it on deal this weekend or yeah. last weekend. So, you know, it's got all your formats. Mm -hmm. Decent or a good film, I should mm -hmm. say. It's a good film. And it's got some interesting featurettes. Yeah. So I'd say that's a uh, trifecta right not there. Not a bad you're... DVD rundown. Pick right there. Yes. <laughs> uh, next up, we're going to go for a little bit more out there stuff. We're mm -hmm. going to talk Step Up, oh, Step Up Revolution 3D. Which make is what, like the fourth fourth film. Fourth film. Yeah, that actually, that's why I have to make sure yeah, I have I know. like the the, the that, order. That's correct. how I figured it up because I remembered Step Up 3D or something yes. being the third yes, one. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. So this is the fourth one. The I'm sorry, series. Alan. I don't mean to insult your. Movie. I don't think he's insulted because he gave it a C minus. If you actually go to the website, not a, not a big fan. I think he liked the dance scenes, but everything else not so much. Uh, for me, you know. I, I saw the first two. As soon as and I got a bit, as soon as Channing Tatum was leaving the series, it took a real dramatic dip for me in the second one. But uh, I liked the first one. Step Up was a fun film. I thought it was good. And I'm not even like a like a musical kind of guy. So strangely enough, I enjoy dance sequences. I don't know what that hmm. is. Weird. Weird. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess Somebody it's in the context of this film. <laughs> but, you know, this one... It's like you got served. You probably own on DVD yes. oh, and yeah. Blu-ray. Of course. Laserdisc, everything. You know. I actually went back and had them press got it, on it on Laserdisc. <laughs> got it on iTunes just in case, yeah. you know. So any any opportunity. But <laughs> served, served, served. This one's completely different from all the other ones. You know, it's, it's sort of the weird thing about the series is it's sort of like different people in each movie, mm. essentially, as opposed to like one continuing gotcha. story throughout. So... It makes it easier to Yeah, it makes it easier movie. to do sequels. Yeah. yeah. So this one has an audio commentary by the director, the choreographer, and cast members, mm -hmm. which I think is cool. Yeah. I'd like to hear about the whole dancing aspect of yeah. it. It's got a choreography featurette. It's got a making of a flash mob featurette. Mm. And it's got a flash mob index huh. to check out all the mobs' dance sequences. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, think, I think that the movie's not great. Mm. Yes. I think the dvd release actually highlights probably the best thing about it so if you're into it because of the dancing this definitely yeah. will hi highlight that or if you're not a fan of the movie but you like the dancing maybe yeah. this is enough incentive to do it because yeah. it talks more about the dancing anyway that's Get a little back behind the scenes goodness yeah so mm -hmm. Uh, if it's, it comes out in 3D as well, if you're so inclined to get that Blu-ray 3D. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's cool. I like that they actually know what their strengths That's are true. and yeah. go with that instead of just yeah. giving me a whole bunch of other filler yeah. shit. So it's like when every Underworld movie has like 
eight billion featurettes on Kate Beckinsale. It's like they're clearly playing to the right audience yeah. at that point. Yeah. Or Michael Bay explosions. Yes. Next up, we're going to do Forks Over yes. Knives Extended Interviews. Mm, this is cool. separate from Forks Over Knives. This is like cut footage kind of thing? Yes, it's like, I think it was like 110 minutes wow. or something of cut footage. Uh, Forks Over Knives was the uh, examination of the claim that most, if not all, degenerative diseases uh, can be controlled or reversed by rejecting animal-based Pro and yes. or processed foods. Yes. It's essentially a, a vegan diet. They call it a whole foods diet. I, I think there might be a different difference in straight up vegan diet, depending on which vegan you talk to, but it's mostly about cutting out meats and like complex meat substances. And this one takes all the sort of extra footage that they were unable to fit into the original documentary and make it into its own sort of thing, which I think is always interesting with oh, documentaries. Yeah. You have so many hours of footage, you oh, always yeah. wonder what is left out. Yeah, and what the tone of the film would have been with other things that they maybe left out or put in, how that changes. So this is described as video... Uh, includes never-before-seen footage from the film's expert interviews covering several themes in greater depth and addressing important issues that weren't touched on in the movie, such hmm. as how much protein do we need, animal versus plant nutrients, and cancer promotion, why are some vegetarians and vegans unhealthy, is a healthy vegan diet easy to follow, hmm. why doesn't portion control work, blah, 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 blah. So if you really like forks over knives mm -hmm. or you're interested in health and bubble, mm -hmm. etc., it it seems like a really yeah. interesting addition to that. As I said, it's like 110 minutes yeah. of extra footage, but that's about it. It doesn't have any special features in mm, addition gotcha. to that. So. I, I would also say, from someone who watched it and was both interested by it but not fully convinced, I bet maybe a lot of the hang-ups yeah. or other arguments that I might have might be addressed. Yeah. Well, it's, it's one of those things, you know, as we said, like run time always yep. has to cut it down, and this might enable it to flesh out some mm -hmm. more of those discussions that you would have liked to have seen more yeah. of because, you know, a three-hour documentary, probably not so great. <laughs> A little but, bit harder you know, to be convincing when it's when you're looking at how sore your butt's going to be afterwards rather than caring oh, totally. what they're showing. Totally. But like a two-hour mm -hmm. one and a one-and-a-half-hour yeah. one makes it a little bit more digestible. Yeah. So looks interesting. I I'll be checking that one. Out. I will be as well. Mm -hmm. Finally, we're going to uh, end with one of the better animated films of the year. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the more fun films just period this year. Mm. Paranorman. Mm -hmm. We're talking the latest release from Leica Studios yes. down in Portland. Northwest represent. Sadly, this one does not feature Henry Selleck Aww, like Coraline. Single tier. I love Coraline, yeah. love Henry Selleck, but they did a pretty stellar it's job true. without him. Yeah. So this is a Blu ray 3D, mm -hmm. Blu ray, DVD, digital copy, ultraviolet edition. So you got all five possible options mm -hmm. there. Unless they throw in like a laser disc or a VHS. <laughs> I don't really think they could do any throwback style. Yeah, you know, I, I would be up for that. That'd Cassette be tape. Yeah. I don't even know how you'd watch it, just the audio, maybe. But this, I mean, this is an awesome film. Mm -hmm. You know, I really like the story. The story of a kid who sees dead people obviously does feel a little bit cliche. <laughs> but, you know, nevertheless. Not hosted by Haley Joel Osment, though, so no. not as cliche as it No, but it's it's fun, you know. There's there's a sort of, it's a very different film than they sort of present initially. You think yes. it's sort of just like zombies coming to mm -hmm. town, he has to fight them, whatever. But it's a little but, bit more destiny well, there's also a lot more depth to like oh, what yes. the zombies story is and mm -hmm. stuff than you expect. It's, it's just a really good film. In terms of this release, they have a feature commentary with writer-director Chris Butler and director Sam Fell, mm. which is pretty interesting. I love to hear their sort of yeah. take on making a stop-motion animated film. Oh, I so bet. 3D, yeah. all that sort of stuff. So much to learn. Uh, there's uh, some preliminary animation sequences with commentary from the directors. Very That's cool. pretty cool. I always like to see the evolution of something mm -hmm. like this, especially, you know, stop-motion animation. Yeah. It's such a long, arduous process. You'd, you'd think that it would have somehow gotten boring over the last however long they've been doing stop-motion animation, but it's still interesting, yep. still fascinating. And then there is Peering Through the Veil, mm. Behind the Scenes of Paranorman, mm. which I'd be curious to see what Maybe they Maybe a little bit say. about the mythos or whatever yeah. they came uh, up or with. Or the story, how yeah. the story evolved, yeah. anything like that. Or the directors, anything. Yeah. Anything behind the scenes, I'm curious. <laughs> I just want yeah. more. Yeah. More <laughs> Paranorman. Paranorman 3. Just skip 2, go straight to the third one. I'd be there. <laughs> I'd be there. I want to see a movie do that someday. Skip a sequel and just name it the third one, see if anyone notices. I'd be I, curious. Porns probably do it. Yeah, I probably. say probably because I haven't researched it yet. <laughs> You're going to go home and do that right after this. If I had a smartphone, I'd be doing it while we're filming. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you know, we have two solid releases. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is a trifecta again yes. with the all the formats, mm -hmm. good film, good features. Yeah. So you got, you got two, like. two trifectas this week. One meh release mm -hmm. with some positives <laughs> and one intriguing yes. outsider. So pretty solid 
rundown. I would agree. Let us know which ones you're interested in, and join us next time when we talk Killing Them Softly mm -hmm. with Ray Liotta. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So that should be a fun one. Mm -hmm. I love Ray Liotta. Lots to talk about there. And you can find us at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number. 323-761-9842. We are on iTunes. Leave us we reviews. are on Blip. Probably leave us reviews there too. We're on Roku. <laughs> We're on Miro. Check in and get glue. Get sticky. I'm wearing off on him. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Magneto can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. This type don't even try to bite the sun. Mr. Spock can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.